Tesla Charging 101. Here's what you need to know about the speed and the range of Tesla Charging. I just got done charging the Model Y. We are at 80%. Now, if I show you and I click on Charging, it'll say Daily and Recommended Trip Charge. So you see 80% is the recommended daily amount for your Tesla battery. And you can see that here under charging, daily and trip recommendation. So how long does it take? Now, we just plugged in the Model 3. So let's see how long this takes. So this is currently charging. If you have a home charger, this is how fast it's gonna be. Right now, I'm getting four hours until my full charge. So you can see four hours and 40 minutes. And right now my Tesla is charging. Now what I can do is I can change these numbers right here. So again, if you want 80% or even 100%, you can charge that right on your charging screen. So you can see here, I'm getting 32 amps of charge and my Tesla is currently charging. Now that's not too bad. When I come back from running errands or what have you, this will be completely done. Now the cost, how much does this actually cost? Well, when you're talking about Tesla charging, it really depends on your residential rates. But for me, it comes to around two to three dollars a day. My charging, depending on the vehicle, we drive the Model Y a little bit less. That's my wife's daily driver and the Model 3. It could be $40 a month up to $90 a month. Again, depending on how many miles we drive in the frequency of charging. So that's really it. The speeds, this one is around 35 miles per hour in charge. That's what you're seeing right now on this Tesla wall connector. Now the Model Y and certain other Teslas, the Model X, X, Cybertruck, this one gets around 40 miles per hour in charge. So again, it could take a few hours or as low as one hour depending on how much you need to charge. So that's how much it takes to charge the cost, the speed and more. Now you know.